My name is Yuko Shimizu. Uh, I'm an illustrator. I live and work in New York, and I also teach at an um, art college called School of Visual Arts once a week, teaching illustration courses. Um, I was born in Japan. I uh, grew up half in New York and half in Japan, well, mostly in Japan, like a few years in New York. And um, I have my undergraduate uh, bachelor's degree in uh, business, advertising and marketing, and worked in corporate uh, world doing PR for about 10 years. And I always love to draw and paint, and, but you know, my family is a very traditional Japanese family, so like, there is no one in my extended family who is a working artist. So um, it was like out of the question to go to art school or becoming an artist. So that's how I end up in advertising, which is the most creative of the practical world. And then so I worked in the corporate, but it never made me happy. I learned a lot of things. It was a great experience. But like when I was like reaching 30, and like, OK, I'm 30, and like, do I like where it's going? Because that's when you decide like whether you want to keep going with what you are doing, or like if you are not happy with it, change. So I decided, OK, I want to be an artist. And then it still took me a few years to prepare to apply for school and have enough money to go back to school. And then I moved to New York in 1999 and went back to school, uh, finished master's in illustration from School of Visual Arts in 2003. And then I've been working as an illustrator and as a professor at the school I graduated since. It was very difficult. I mean, like, I, when I was getting ready for it, I thought it was impossible. Because in Japan, usually, you graduate from college, you start working in a company, and you work for that company until you retire when you're 65 or so. So not a lot of people change what they do. So um, the company I worked for was actually a really big, you know, like well-paid. It was a good job. Like everyone thought I had an amazing job. But like what it matters is that amazing job for someone, amazing for you, and it wasn't for me. And so, you know, like it was not what I should be doing. But you know, like preparing for it was really difficult. But like. And I just can't have to tell, tell myself that, like, you know, I was working like 9 o'clock in the morning to 9 at night, five days a week, and then go, like, go back home at night or over the weekend. I don't go anywhere for like, a, I didn't go anywhere for like a year to get my portfolio ready. And, but like, it was difficult, but like, when you have a goal that you really want to achieve and like, you see it, I think you can do it. So like, right now I look back and like, wow, like, how did I do it? But I, somehow it was possible. I think like, influences is like, not like one artist or one thing or like, small number of things, but like, basically everything you have ever experienced in your life can be an influence. And, you know, like, I, I used to hate how I drew and painted because I left Japan because I hated that country. And then, like, I realized I can't live there anymore. And, of course, well, another reason was to be an artist. But I had a choice of becoming an artist in Japan, but I didn't choose to. I wanted to live in New York, and I wanted to live in the United States. And so, you know, if you look at my work, you see Japan, like you see a Japanese person. There. Of course, like, you know, these are Japanese themes, so obvious, but even the ones that are not obvious, you can tell, oh, this person liked animation, oh, this person must have liked Japanese comics, or Japanese, old Japanese woodblock prints. And of course, those are influences. And I started drawing and painting, looking at, cartoons and like flipping through comic books as a kid and that is still there but um, I actually hate it that my work represented myself as a Japanese person after I moved to New York and I tried very hard to learn to be an American and so like I tried like okay like drop 
my ink and brush and start painting with oil or like not use simple lines but start shading and I can I learned it to do it okay but it was somehow never right for me and then after a while in school all the professors helped me and okay you have to just be yourself and try not to be who you are and that's where my work started working and that's how I started getting work so you know like influences sometimes is, or include things that you actually don't like about yourself but you, it's in you because that's how you grew up and that's who you are and so I, I think like everything I ever experienced is my influences. <laughs>